Hey, what's up guys? This is Joey Sankey from Team 11 Lacrosse. Today's tip is going over a hitch. A little move and what a finish. A great goal from Sankey. It's now 14 to five. That's impressive lacrosse. So I'm really particular in the way that this hitch is taught. I see a lot of players, they do this hitch and then they come back up, which basically takes away from everything. So when you do this hitch, what's really important is that you come down here and then you explode off towards the middle of the field right away. So you don't want to sink in and then come back up. You sink into this front foot and then drive off of that front foot. So one good drill to do for this is just starting with this knee up, sinking in, and then exploding off. So you want to think of it that like you're a sprinter, you sink into this foot and then sprint off of that front foot. So the first thing when doing a hitch is that you need to sell it that you want to shoot. So it's about getting your eyes up, your chest up. It's also about your body language. You want to catch it, you want to act excited to shoot. You don't want to have your eyes down and just kind of go through the motions. So if I catch that pass here, my chest is up, my eyes are in the cage, my chin is up, and then everything stays the same into your shot. So as I get into that shot, everything stays the same until I transfer that weight to my front foot. So I crow hop, I sink in. As soon as I sink into this foot, I drive towards the middle to get past that defenseman. Another bad habit that I see from a lot of players is that they over-exaggerate the hitch. If you over-exaggerate your hitch, that defenseman isn't going to fall for it. So you want to have quiet hands. You want to catch that, have your hands back. As you sink into this hitch, just bring your elbows in. There's no reason to come forward to do a big wind up with your stick. The other thing, if you come forward with your hands, now that's taking your momentum away. You just want to sink into that front foot, bring your elbows in, and now you're in a position to explode past that defenseman. You should know the business is competitive. There's a lot of people that I'm better than. Even veterans ain't got the knowledge I do. I've been reinvesting all I ever spent. Stop pretending like you pop it. So the hitch that we just went over is the more traditional hitch. You sell that hitch, you get top side past your defenseman. So as you get older, defensemen start to take a top side approach. So they won't let me get to the middle of the field. So what opens up is a hitch down the alley. So if I catch it here and that defenseman approaches me top side where I can't do the hitch and get to the middle, now I have the option to do the hitch into a split dodge. So this is a really effective move, especially for midfielders. What's important about this hitch is that you accelerate through, get past your defenseman, get your shot off quickly. It's really important what you do with this front foot and this front hip. You wanna bring it up, sell it, and you wanna step out. If I step straight down, then my next step, I'm crossing my feet. So I wanna get this crow hop, lift this knee up, open that knee and hip here into that roll, and then you're into your shot. So it's really important opening that hip up, not just landing it straight down. One other thing that's really important for this, and this is for any split dodge, keeping the stick tight towards your chest. You don't wanna be here and then out like this. You wanna have your hands back, you wanna punch this left elbow in, roll the shoulder, now you're protecting that head of the stick from the defenseman here, and it's tight. If you roll your shoulder, turn your hips, now you're also in shooting position. So a lot of reasons, a lot of benefits to turning that hip, turning that shoulder. So those are your team 11 tips for the day, going over the hips top side. Hitch underneath. Hope that helped. Make sure you guys share this with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we'll keep sharing more videos.
Sankey with the hitch move, getting to the middle of the field, pressing pause to really, really tough stretch of teams coming up here. We'll see how they handle that. A beautiful St. Patrick's night here in Chapel Hill and the Tar Heels. Knock off Harvard by a score of 15 to 10.